to a video tour of the Nonprofit Association of Oregon for the CVCRM case study on the same organization. My name is Stuart and I work with my company Corlon LLC and this website was built using Drupal 6 and CVCRM 3.2. We have some pretty standard features on the home page, a rotating slideshow and the fancy little drop down menus that are fairly common in Drupal websites these days. We also have some blocks that contain some custom views and content types called news. But how it relates to CVCRM especially is here on the event calendar where we have a exposed uh, database here with CVCRM event data being displayed in the Drupal calendar module which needed to be configured because CVCRM and Drupal in two separate databases so there's some config files that need to be tweaked there. We also have a legend here which is what the color coding is all about and exposed fields um, and filters so that people can sort by what they want. If someone's not into looking at calendar boxes then they can go down here and they can look at the, uh, the words. Now we also have some rather robust membership elements of the Nonprofit Association of Oregon. They're very event driven, they're very membership driven. We have two distinct classes of memberships with NAO. One is the nonprofit membership, and that is for a nonprofit organization specifically. They have a sliding scale. Each of these is a membership level or a membership type in CVCRM. Um, and how we had to customize this particularly is NAO wanted to gather a lot of organization data from the beginning. A lot of their older data on their existing members was very hit or miss, and they had a lot of blanks in their data. So they wanted to not have that anymore. And the way to do that was to collect all that information when someone registers for the first time. Well, CVCRM 3.2 is a little limited in that regard because it only asks address fields about the organization. We added a number of custom data fields here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, at least 10. And these are a part, uh, done through a custom Drupal module which extends this page's functionality to include those uh, organizational fields in the quote on behalf of section. See, so as you know, when you register here and you create an organization, then you also have an individual which is located down here and that individual is tied to the organization through a relationship which is normally the employer employee relationship and that's exactly what happens here when this form is filled out you have an individual put in the database and a relationship with the organization and then you have all this custom data put in and tied and put in the organization's contact record so that was pretty complicated and that was a big part of this project the other type of uh, membership that we've got is the affiliate membership it's a little bit different, not quite as fancy, but it does do some other things. They have four different types of affiliate memberships, one for a business and one for like an individual person or a student. Well, some of those are on behalf of an organization and some are not. So it became apparent that people were getting very confused on this form. Do I check the box that says I'm registering on behalf of an organization or not? So we added some jQuery here and um, what that does is it automatically hides the on behalf of section if you're an individual or a student. If you're a business, then it automatically populates the on behalf of section. We don't have any custom fields on this uh, page. It wasn't necessary, but we do have a couple more profiles down below. All right, so those are the membership sections. Let me move on. Since we were just talking about the affiliate membership, let's, let's discuss what that means. An affiliate is a service provider that offers their uh, business needs their services to nonprofits just like I do so when someone becomes an affiliate member we use the Drupal CVCRM membership to Drupal roles sync module which is optional and included with CVCRM and that allows anyone with a valid affiliate membership to be given a role in CVCRM and anyone who has a role in CVCRM then that person is allowed to create a specific public profile through the use of the Drupal content profile module and all those people are seen here so these are individuals who have created their own public profiles because they're affiliate members one last thing we decided that WYSIWYG editors were a no-go and so I created a special template and a special content type where someone uploads an image and then it provides code to be copied and pasted in a variety of different formats anywhere in the website so that's a special way that we use images. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks very much.